guys, I'm Allie, and this is Kona, my dog that my fiance and I adopted from a puppy mill. Uh, we got her in Independence, Missouri. At first, we did not know she was from a puppy mill. We actually were at a pet store named Petland that my fiance was working at at the time, and she felt so bad for this little puppy because no one ever wanted to play with her. She had little droopy jowls, and so she convinced me one night to go in and play with her, and we walked out the same night with her coming home with us. Um, from a puppy, she did take a long time to potty train. Uh, we both had other dogs that really didn't take that long, but we really didn't think that much into it. And then eventually she started to be a little more antisocial. She didn't like men. Um, in particular, some of her family members, she will not go up to them. And so these are some of the long-term psychological effects that we're still dealing with with her. Um, we have to be kind of careful when it comes to men in our house or men that come up to her. Um, little kids that try to come up to her, she's also very fearful of them. And then she has really bad separation anxiety. So she will not actually leave our side usually. And as soon as we leave the house, if we leave her out of her kennel, then she will actually usually go to the bathroom somewhere just because she has that much anxiety that we might not be coming back. All right, and Kona is a French Mastiff. If you look at her, she looks just like Cooch. She doesn't appear to have been from a puppy mill. She doesn't really have a lot of physical uh, side effects. She does have a little crimp in her tail. Um, from what we assume, it got broken when she was a puppy and then just never got healed right. And she does have a little skin tag on the top of her ear. Um, we've gotten both those checked out by the vet and they seem to be perfectly fine. They don't affect her at all. Um, but these are just a couple of things that happen um, whenever you have a puppy that's been raised in a puppy mill. Um, we love her to death, though. And as long as you rescue them from the puppy mills, it's okay. We just got to help as many of those dogs out that we can. Um, if you have any more questions for Kona and I, feel free to submit a form on our contact, contact us page on the bottom. And we will see you soon.